Hey everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, we get to mix up the plant room. So it's the third weekend in January, and though there are a lot of mini projects I could be doing, I kind of have this itch to change up the plant room just a little bit. So I've set myself up for a little time-lapse photography, and we're going to get this thing rolling here. So I've got my plant bench behind me, but the odd thing about it is, is I have a window over there, and I shoot most of my videos with the black backdrop from the curtains of the window over there. So I've got my time-lapse photography over here on my phone, and I've got the GoPro over there to give you a wide view, and I've got this camera here well, just for the introductions. So here's the plan. You know, it would make more sense for the plants to be by the window than way over here. But here are a couple of things to consider. That is not a south-facing window. That is north. So I'm going to get more light than in here, but not a ton more, so is it worth it? I don't know. I've never had it by this window. It's a pretty big window. It's about four feet by uh, three feet. And so it's going to provide a lot of light, um, but not direct sunlight. So it certainly won't compare to a south facing window. The other problem is we just hit lows into the single digits the last couple of nights. And I put my thermometer right by the window and it's 10 degrees colder than just one foot in. So you have that draft to consider. Now I can close the curtains at night so that protects the drafts at night. I can put my heater that goes on every couple of hours over by the trees, by the sun, or by the light I should say. And maybe it'll keep it all re regulated over there and be warm. And then of course the greenhouse side in the closet area over here, well that might get a little less heat. But of course I have the plastic up there so the humidity is up a little bit higher and it kind of traps the heat in there. We don't know unless we try. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get up off the chair and we're gonna start moving stuff around and we're gonna try to see if the plants here can go over by the window and that's my weekend project. It's Friday night, it is the 22nd of January, but I just wanna get to work. So let's get started. Currently, the workbench with all the trees are over there. We just cleaned off everything over here to make room for the workbench. So there are my north facing windows, so I'll get plenty of light in there. I do have a heat vent right up here. So the heat vent is kicking out a little bit of heat right now, and so that'll also make my trees drier. So I will definitely have to continue to mist my trees a couple of times a day so they don't get all dried out. The workbench has got to go right here. The extension should fit here. We're going to have to see if all that fits. Now I have to take off some of the trees from the bench, otherwise they might fall in transition. So I got to move at least some of them around. Okay, now I wanted to put it here just for size and to see if it's going to go. The window is right here, so about a foot from the edge here, and the window is right here about six inches, so it's pretty much centered by the window. I can go down another inch or two this way, and we're going to be able to sit it right here. I got to move my, my little support here, right about there. That should be pretty centered in the window. That allows me some space over by the fish tank. And I still have a little bit of space right here. I can put a garbage back there. And I've got my little hanging pot here. My daughter gave me this little hanging white uh, holder. Got an, got an aloe in there. Now, before I put this in place for it to stay in place, I've had this backing on here, this black painted wicker. It's wicker painted black, or bamboo I should say. I have this attached to this. Well, that's going to block all the light. 
provides a nice black background so you can see trees, but it won't provide the light for the trees that I want. So I'm gonna have to take that off. So I gotta get some tools and tear that apart. Got the power tools, here we go. I think that's where the trees were, uh, pretty much in this order. So we'll have to reassess here as I get the rest of the room together. But so far, I've got this whole line of trees here and the trees on the fish tank. So from the other side of the room, you can see all the plants from wall to wall, from the extension where I have the peninsula, all the way over to the top of the fish tank where I have the fish tank ficus forest, which is doing quite fine over there. And uh, I got some gap in here to open up my drawers. The fish tank here with some koi and my goldfish, uh, loving life right now. And um, looks like we're missing a couple right here. I'm house plant sitting, not house sitting, but plant sitting for my daughter. So I've got a, a plant over here a little uh, succulent over here. I got uh, Schaeflera right there, which I'm trying to propagate into a cutting right here for me. And I've got this uh, dangly thing with little green ball beads on it. And, uh, and then her big aloe and this fun guy right here. Yeah, some fun stuff to add some greenery to, to the plant room. So this is all looking pretty sharp. So now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the place that had this in, we have to reconfigure that. This leaves quite a lot of space over here. So everything's kind of jammed over there and stuff in there and I have all this freedom right here. Well, I'll put my desk back over here so I can do my work from home. Um, so I'll set that up so I can do that. Um, uh, teacher by day, so we're doing some, uh, you know, Google Meet and Zoom type classes. So I gotta have some space for that. And I also need a space to create the videos with a backdrop. So right now it's kind of a green color in this room. So green leaves and green background, that probably isn't gonna go so much. So one of the things I'm gonna go investigate today, uh, well this weekend I should say, is to hang a little scrim back here so I can get a color back here. And the question is, do I go black like the curtains? Do I mo move back to that more white or cream color? So you can see the trees in their glory and they pop more. I think with the whiter background, you'll see the bark, you'll see the leaves, you'll see that much better than sometimes on the black background. So we'll go investigating uh, some fabric stores, see if there's anything on severe discount, and we'll see if we can put up a, a couple of rods up here so I can take off and put on my, my background for the videos. And this guy will go out in the garage for right now. Uh, this was a temporary thing that worked pretty well. I spray painted the bamboo, we'll put it in the garage and find some use for it. So a little more cleaning up here, bring some rugs and my desk back in here, and the room is almost complete. I rearranged the table, moved the big square one to the left, the skinnier one in the middle, leaves a gap back there in the corner. We got our plants there comes around to the right side where the fish tank is. So we got a lot of space. It actually feels bigger in here, except for of course, this is a little bit more crowded by the window, but I can't wait to see what the light coming through the window is gonna do for these plants. Hopefully get it some more growth. Things will start growing towards that sunlight, plus the lights that are artificial on top, and we will be set with a new plant room. Yeah, all right, there we have it. In about an hour's time, we were able to transform the room. So all the trees and the workbench were over here on the east wall. Now it's on the north wall slash window. So when we open up them drapes behind me, we'll get all kinds of sun. We're at the end of, Feb or end of January weather. I'm getting kind of excited for spring. Uh, February, just around the corner, warmer temps, more sunlight. And as I mentioned earlier, there might be a little bit of draft for the next couple of nights, but that's what the curtains will be for. And then when I open them up, I got the heat below me 
now right below the trees so the heat will kind of filter in in here and kind of you know go up towards the trees the heat vent up there it's not on as much but it's going to create a little bit of dryness here so i have to make sure i'm misting a good two three times a day still so they're not going to be too dried out i'll have to monitor that as well but it's great it's feeling good it's feeling cozy in here i got everything back in here and uh, we're ready to go to make more bonsai videos and to watch the trees grow and uh, have the fish tanks uh, yeah loving life in the plant room so i made some popcorn amongst all of this and um i'm just going to kick back and soak it all in for a little bit and uh you know we'll do this again soon so for dave's bonsai that's me dave weiss and uh, take care of yourselves take care of your bonsai and we'll see you on the next one all right all right bye-bye everyone Mm-hmm. <laughs>